Hi! Welcome back again to the vlog. And for today's video, I'll be sharing to you my experiences uh, here in the Royal Palace Museum here in Luang Prabang. Um, you can buy your ticket there. That's where the entrance is located. So it's 30,000 kip per person. And you're not allowed to uh, take pictures inside the temple in the uh, residence of the royal family before in Laos. So you have to put it over there at my back. That's where the locker room is located. Okay, so I've already um, uh, seen what's inside the temple and the royal palace. So I'll be sharing to you what I saw and what I've learned from the history of Lao. Okay, this is the statue of the last king here in Lao. His name is King Sisavang Vongs. And this statue had been casted in Russia in 1975 and delivered to Laos in Luang Prabang in 1976 and it weighs 5 tons. Amazing. Yes, so I'll tell you more about the royal family later. Okay, let's now go to the temple. Okay, that is the entrance going inside the museum and those steps going up is the uh, way going up to Mount Fusi. So if you are here in Luang Prabang, you should check out also what's on top of Mount Fusi. And that is where you can buy the ticket. Aside from that, um, you can also watch the Royal Ballet here. So it's, I don't know what the schedule is. And the ticket price ranges from 150,000, 120,000, and 100,000 kip. Okay, so this is what you will see here. And I'm currently here in front of the temple that is located inside. So you can see there um, some images of Buddha and yeah, you are not allowed to get inside so all you can do there is um, see what is inside and it was also written in the uh, words there in the, in the entrance that uh, explains the history of Luang Prabang so basically Luang Prabang was not the name of this city it was different but in honor of that Prabang Buddha so they changed the name of this city into Luang Prabang Okay, this is what you will see here. So still, you're not allowed to take photograph, especially on the inside of the temple, and you have to take off your shoes for you to go up. And I'm here in front of the official residence before of the royal family here in Lao. Um, yeah. But unfortunately, the royal family is not functioning anymore here in Laos. So um, it was converted into a museum. So you can see a lot of things here like how the royal family live. Um, you can also see there the, their dresses, their um, like everything eating utensils, um, cooking utensils, as well as the gifts from the other countries. Yeah, so um, you should not miss visiting what's inside in this building because it really is very beautiful. Yes, but unfortunately you're not allowed to take photographs or videos inside the uh, residence. So again, it has converted into a museum. So. That's what I've said a, lot, uh, a while ago, so you can um, see their dresses, the utensils that they use, also the history of Luang Prabang. So you can also see there the some images of Buddha and then the things of the royal family before. So while I was roaming around and after I um, got around the uh, museum, I asked one of the guides there. And they said that um, the royal family was overthrown by the communists. And that happened during 1975. That's why the royal family here in Laos ceased to exist. 
A. The carriage of monk. The carriage is used to carry a monk when we have a Lao New Year parade. Lao New Year is in mid-April and the parade is from Wat That Loi Temple to Wat Xiang Fong Temple. The carriage is made with wood and painted red and gold colors. The carriage is made by Mr. Manifong Kathleen Yarath in 2011. Check that out. And we have another carriage here which is a very important carriage. So the carriage of the Prabang Buddha. The carriage of the Prabang Buddha goes from the National Museum to Wat Mai Temple to carry the Buddha image and it is there for a few days. People come to splash the Buddha with water and their ceremony is called Song Nam Fa. After that, the Buddha image is carried back to the National Museum. The carriage was made with wood and painted red and gold colors. The carriage is made also by Mr. Manivong Kathin Yarath in 2011. Amazing. Surrounding the official, former official residence of the royal family here in Lao is the wonderful landscape, especially over there beside the temple. And you have a big tree over here. And that is the Royal Cars Exhibition. So probably the royal family before owns some luxurious car. So let's get inside. But as always, no photography. At my back is the Royal Cars Exhibition. So you can see there the official car of the royal family. And most of those cars were donated by the US government. Amazing. And I think most of the cars are Ford. And there was one car that was donated by the Japan, Japan, Japanese government and it was Toyota, I guess. So beside the Royal Cars exhibition is the toilet. Yes. So if you're wondering where the toilet is located here, in the Royal Museum, it's there. And it is located at the back of the Royal Museum. So I'm going to show you here around because it's really very beautiful. And this is what you will see here. This is the back portion of the Royal Museum. It's amazing. There's another way here for you to get inside the temple but it's closed so that the people would really get inside through the official gate and this is the back portion of the museum and this is what you will see on the other side of the museum and over there is a beautiful pond so let's check that out And this is the pond here with all these little flowers, like it's so beautiful. And check out the background here, it's really amazing. They were able to maintain the cleanliness of this museum. And I am done with my tour here, so to wrap things up. Um, as what I've said a while ago, the, the royal family was overthrown by the communists and um, I think after the rule of the communists here in Lao, um, the royal family was never um, re-established and um, I think um, the, royal, the king and the queen went missing so it's still a secret that needs to be solved and um, according to the guy that I talked to, um, he said that after the communists took over the country, they left Lao, and then most of them already, the royal family, live in France. And this is my first camping experience here in the So I've heard there are some the French term for bread, I guess. And it was ordered ice coffee. So I wanted to try the ice coffee. Uh, it tastes similar with the ice coffee in the Philippines. Okay, 
this is what the cafe looks like. They are using a bamboo straw for their straw here in this cafe. Amazing. Okay, this is what the croissant looks like. I hope it tastes the same with what is found in France, perhaps. And I am back in the night market. And look at all these people. So many people here, tourists from other countries but most of the tourists here are white either you uh, but I think most are Europeans especially friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 